There's over 30 million fans of dirt track racing, and they start in the heart of America, in the small towns, down the country roads, away from the cities so the noise of those screaming engines don't wake people in the middle of the night. 98% of all dirt track racers spend their own hard-earned dollars to put a race car together, take it to the track every week, and compete. They do it for pride. They do it for their families. They do it for their sponsors. No matter who they are, they want to win and they want to go fast. They are the heartbeat of America. For the most part, a dirt track racer puts themselves in a financial hardship just to drive the car every week, to buy the fuel, to replace the tires, and to take their family into the pits and into the stands to watch the race. Yeah, there can be a purse at the end, but those dollars don't typically cover the cost of the tags to be there on a weekly basis. Probably 9 out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10 NASCAR and Indy 500 stars started somewhere across the United States by paying a general admission ticket and entering the gates of a dirt track race. The atmosphere of the race gets in your blood. I had a buddy that was racing and I kept bugging him about it. Of course, we'd been over here at Crystal for many years just watching and I always wanted to do it. So I got a hold of him and he says, I might be able to set you up. So we drug an old car out of a fence row, put a junk 350 in it some numbers and paint on it and we went racing and I ran at Thunderbird uh, middle of the summer. Never ran before. We won a heat race with it but I didn't feel like the car was safe so I built my first one from the ground up the next winter. I couldn't couldn't not do it. And uh, just me and an old stick welder absolutely no knowledge on what I was doing but we got through it and it just took off from there. We ran uh, bombers and street stocks and moved into the pro trucks seven years ago and Still going at it. The love of the sport drives a racer to go faster and to compete because that's what the American spirit is all about. If you listen closely, you'll hear the teams praying for the safety of not just the drivers, but the fans as well. There's nothing more traditional, there's nothing more grassroots than the sport of dirt track racing. this year really didn't know what we were going to have so it was a crap shoot going into turn one and the truck rotates okay right now tracks kind of it looks like it took rubber but it really didn't it's still dry slick so it got better as I burnt the you know burnt the new off them tires and we came around a little bit I don't know I don't know how I stacked up to everybody else other than the fact that I won the heat I don't know where they were at but we'll just give her a good once over and probably do some air pressure adjustments on this one and just try it again for the feature because 
I know it's going to take rubber. It's going to tighten up. You don't know unless you run it. I mean, that was one one heat race, and we beat them by a half a lap. So, or I mean, I mean a front stretch. You said so. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Does it take one or two? Don't fix it if it ain't broke. Well, I don't know what to fix yet. I don't know until the end of tonight, I guess. So I think we better just call it into the neighbor where she is. Run it. It's all for that checkered flag, for that moment they get to go to Victory Lane and celebrate with their family. All the hard work and dedication comes down to that one moment. The road truck winner tonight is the number 96J. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, stretch out that feature. The Red Sox coming up here. Here's the board. Hi, Dave. Hi. That was really, really good. Sometimes you can record. <laughs> The American racer is a special breed. Their spirit gets into the hearts and souls of people all across this country. This is the Dirt Track Experience. 